<coughs> Thank you, Dr. Manisha. As uh, Dr. Manisha Sahai has said, she said, start thinking about it now, slowly, be alert. And there are many options open. Just for an example, you have space medicine, you have aviation medicine, you have altitude medicine, you have diving medicine, you have uh, health education systems, health education for the public, you have health education for health professionals, students or, you know, uh, clinicians. And uh, the number of options is going on increasing. So you just need to, you know, find your, be, have clarity about your situation, your aptitudes, situation meaning your stage in life, your personal family situation. As Dr. Mamidi said, you know, be alert to that. Now, through all this, uh, 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 would anyone like to ask anything uh, pertaining to what has been discussed so far? Yes, I see many hands rising suddenly. Yes, I think that's Monish of the 2K10 batch. Good morning, everyone. Uh, as ma'am said, I'm Monish. Hello? Hello? Yeah, good morning, everyone. As ma'am said, I'm Monish, 2K10 batch from Usmania Medical College. As Manisha ma'am has just mentioned regarding hospital management, uh, I would like to ask uh, uh, Kankadurga ma'am, is it a mandatory to take up, like, get my master's in management? to set up a hospital. Yeah. He wants to know mandatory to have a degree in uh, hospital management to set up a hospital. Uh, no, you need money to set up a hospital. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> After that, management degree, I believe, is only an add-on to your basic clinical skills. You have to be a good physician, you have to be a good doctor. You have to identify, see you have a hospital, but how will you take your hospital forward? It's easy. You have money, you build a hospital, everything is fine. Even to build a hospital, designing a hospital itself, you have to have that vision. You're building a hospital today, you have to sustain it for the next 25, 30 years. How will you get that vision? So, you have to be a good clinician basically. The management will help you in the day-to-day -day administration and planning for your future services. So these two go hand in hand. I personally, though I am into healthcare consultancy and hospital management, I personally feel first we are all trained to be physicians. So we have to have that basic respect for our profession as physicians first. It could be any specialty, general, you could be an MBBS doctor, but you have to have that vision, what is happening in the field. Next 25 years, what's going to happen in my hospital, how I want to take. That plan you have to make now. Management and administration skills, degree is nothing. You can even pick it up as you uh, go along. But it will help you to widen a lot of your understanding of the unit. For instance, in finance planning, in staffing, in planning your services, and in helping people who are actually working under you in all these, in training, in all these areas, yes, management and administration, um, you know, training, it will aid your basic skills and will sharpen your uh, vision. That's my uh, experience. 